Now I'm going to show you how to log into the back end of your WordPress blog for the first time and I'm going to give you a tour of the interface because uh, the back end is where you're going to do everything for your blog. It's where you're going to choose the theme and the look and feel. It's where you're going to add new posts, new pages, pictures, all the plugins that you use. Pretty much everything happens via the browser in the back end of your WordPress blog. So the address for the back end of your blog is yourdomain.com slash wp-admin. Go to yourdomain slash wp-admin and you should see a page that looks like this. Now you're gonna log in with that username and password that you got from your web host when you installed WordPress. And click login. All right, welcome to your WordPress dashboard. This is the first time I've logged in, and depending on whether you use Bluehost or not, you may or may not see this box here that says Jetpack is installed. And Jetpack is some features from WordPress.com that you can install on your self-hosted WordPress blog. We're pretty much gonna ignore this for now. So this homepage is called your dashboard, and it shows you how many posts and pages and comments you have. It shows you recent comments, recent drafts, and, and pretty much whatever you want. This page is customizable, so you can actually minimize panels. You can move panels around. So maybe I would like the quick press box to be first. Um, that's a way that you can quickly make a post and I would like the recent comments box to be first as well. So that's your dashboard. Now I'm gonna just go through some of the items in the left-hand column. The first is posts. The posts tab is where you view and manage existing posts as well as add new posts. So if I wanted to add a new post to the blog, I would click add new and I would write my post. Media is where you manage all the files and things that you've uploaded to the blog. So any pictures or videos or things that you're hosting go into the media library. I'm going to skip links for now. Pages is where you actually add static pages to your blog. So if you wanted to have an about page, you would add a new page here and make an about page. The comments page is where you're going to moderate comments. You can actually approve and deny comments in WordPress. This is the Appearance tab. It's where you're going to pick and install a theme and a look and feel for your blog. It's also where you can control what shows up in the sidebar, so that side column of the blog, and those are called widgets. The Plugins tab is where you go to install the plugins. It's also where you go to search for plugins. So if I wanted to add a new plugin, I could say Add New. And then I can search the plugin directory for WordPress plugins. Finally, the settings tab is where you're going to set everything up for your blog. So the title of the page, your tagline, um, all the details about writing, reading, letting people comment or not, that's where this all happens. So I hope this brief tour has given you confidence and shown you that WordPress isn't complicated. It doesn't have to be difficult. It's all very visual and graphic and everything that you need to do in WordPress happens through this back end. So there's really not a lot of fuss. It's all right here.